So inside right now, um, first aid kit, the jack. This is the handle of the jack. And um, then the rest of the stuff is on the table. Just stuff that goes outside a hammock. That's the tarp that goes over the, for the awning. This lock is to lock on, and the keys are all on the keychain, to lock on when you're, it's on the car. If you don't feel comfortable in the area that you're at when you're gone, this lock is to be able to put on the tongue, and we showed you that last time. Then just stuff like the toolbox, the chalks, this is the hose, bungees, axe, machete, shovel, panini press, saw, and um, frisbees. So it all gets kind of just thrown in that box, and then you have an extra lock for anything that you feel that you're not comfortable with um, that you want to lock up. That's it. Okay, just wanted to show you guys where all the plates and the bowls and the utensils are. There they are. In the frying pan, we've got six plates. In the um, pot, we have, I think, four or five bowls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and six, and then the utensils which has everything from little knives, bottle openers, peelers, scraper, and then just miscellaneous forks, knives, and spoons. That all goes in here, and then we just put them right down here. So now with leaving the handle out, you don't even have to go inside um, the trailer, and you can get all the stuff you need. You will put that on top, and then you're good to go. Here's the utensils, we put them all right here. So, crab breakers, if you get lucky, and um, extractors, uh, bread knife, sharp knife, anything that you need. Oyster shuckers, it's all gonna be right in here. The new toy, um, it uh, makes noodles out of zucchini and cucumbers, and uh, it's pretty cool. So this is the toolbox, and all the utilitarian stuff is gonna go in here. So binoculars, and all the kind of guts, the just miscellaneous tools. This is that stuff that goes to the toilet, so it doesn't stink. This is gonna show you your battery level. So before you, um, you go uh, off grid, you wanna make sure to check your battery level, and you do it right here. Just plug it in. And then you can read and see that it's it's roughly two thirds full, right here. Um, but this is a good a good tool to know that when you're planning on spending two days in the middle of nowhere. And then things like glue, batteries, and that's basically it. And the charger, USB, which can go here, and you also have two here. So Schmitty, if you have some work to do, there you go. There's your USB. And that all goes in here and we've got it right in the utilitarian area right there so it's nice when you have everything set up to where like this pot I put it there just when we get in it, it holds apples and oranges but it can also go down here but when you guys are working together and you're just moving in outside you can just sit right here and grab everything and make one trip put everything in and then go out and wash the dishes afterwards and put them right back. So it's pretty easy. A lot of times I just eat in the doorway. Real important part, the coffee. So we've got a nice blend of Folgers Crystals Classic. And then what you do, it's just a French press. So um, a coffee mug that will be much cleaner than that when you get it will um, come out. And then you got a little press here. Screw it in, and the press pops out, and then you're good to go. Put the coffee in, put the hot water in, boom, you know. So that's all in there and will be much cleaner. And down here um, in the utility area, we also have things like a measuring cup. We have kind of like a slate board we use to put food on. Um, it's also a good hot plate to put thing, th items that are hot on top of. And then this red thing right here is a cutting board. There's also some aluminum foil. We'll ha also have um, storage bags for 
food and whatever. Um, over here we have, um, this is where we keep our food, but of course, um, whatever you think is best, we've got a flask, very important. Um, we've got various spices um, and graham crackers and marshmallows, oil, if any of this is free for people to use, um, when, whenever our friends have access to this, it'll be mostly cleaned out. But um, there's syrup, yeah, just basic things. Um, Anything that's in here, you guys, please feel free. Yes. Use it, use it, use it, use it. There's s'mores ready to go. This right here is a dish rack. Just, it's Velcro to the wall. And you just pop it open and there you go. So very easy to do um, and helps keep your stuff clean and organized. Okay, the stove. Once again, you can just sit here and get everything all set up. This is part of it. Just slide her out. And you've got fuel back here. When you put this stuff back in, these things will roll around. So when you put it back in, you just want to make sure that um, it's not banging everything up so much and rolling around all over the place. All you have to do is put it in here, get it tight, put it in the tip, and you want to make sure this is nice and tight. Just kind of shake it around or else it will leak a little bit. And you can buy these fuel canisters Anywhere. at Target, Walmart, sometimes even gas stations. Just and make sure you get the right one. And so grab my lighter. And then all it is, turn it on, you can hear it go. Bam. It'll boil water real quick. Ooh, now you can, can do feel it already. You can um, do it inside the cricket. It's not a big deal. If it's cold morning, it's kind of nice to do um, hot coffee and it heats up the cricket inside when you have the windows up, but you still have to have the windows cracked because it will give you CO2 and that's not good. A lot of times what I do is I have Shannon pass it through the door or the window right there and then I'll cook on the outside while she's preparing and I'll just put it on the toolbox and cook out there, especially when it's nice with the drink. I'm doing it. Now some people like to keep this on the bottle right here it's got a protection a protector valve on it but it will flaw after a while so I take it off every time and then you are clean slide them back there and you're off and running that's it boom all right I just wanted to go over some of the things that are going to be in the Cricut um, we have two hand towels. We have a rug for the floor that's totally optional. I prefer it so it's walking in and out. It gets dirty so when you step out of bed in the morning at least you have a clean place to put your feet. We have a lantern here. This is a solar lantern. You just basically, or it's charged off of energy, you just spin this. The light lasts a really long time though. Um, we're going to have some laundry detergent. These pods, there'll be a bag of those in there so you can do laundry. Um, a bug light, this super important if you want to charge your phone if you're off the grid, meaning you're not plugged into an electric source. There's kind of like cigarette light, cigarette hole lighters all over, DC power is what John calls them. There's one on the outside and there's three on the inside, so you can plug that in, charges your phone. We also have these gray water um, deodorizers. The gray water is where your sink water goes. Um, it's totally legal to be able to dump that um, around, um, but uh, I don't think you'll have to put any one of those in. That's something John and I will do. You don't have to do it every time. Um, more just if you're, if you're planning on holding water in there a long time, which you probably won't have to. This is the toilet paper that has to be used. Um, it's, it dissolves really easily. Um, so this we ordered this from Camping World, but you can also buy in the grocery store cheap Scott tissue. This is what you're looking for. Septic safe. Don't buy Cottonelle and the fancy stuff. This toilet paper sucks, but it's the only kind you can use in the toilet. We we'll also have a bug candle, and this is what the kind of soap we use. 
um, to wash our dishes, uh, the Dr. Bronner's. Um, it's, it can be dumped very easily without being toxic. So there will be a bottle in there, but if you use it all, please replace it. Um, so, you know, you can buy these at Whole Foods and Target these days as well. Okay, this plastic box will be in the Cricut. Um, and this is kind of where we store just miscellaneous stuff that we want to get to. So this is totally optional. We have a pretty big tapestry. These are great if your campsite is super close to somebody else's and you just want some privacy. It's Grateful Dead. Who doesn't like the Grateful Dead? Um, Bodie's got a flashlight in here. We've got some games. We've got Bananagram, Pass the Pig. We've got some cards in here, dominoes, um, Footbird. These are mostly good for kids. This right here is a hook for um, getting cast iron off the um, off fire. We will have a Dutch oven in there. We also have a book. Um, we have rope with clothes pins. Um, for you can hang your laundry for hanging the tapestry. We've got um, bear spray if you're ever on a hike and you need that. We've got a star map. I mean, this is all just random stuff. We have a poncho. Um, there's a slingshot and there's some glow sticks down there. This is all miscellaneous stuff, mostly for entertainment. Um, but it will be in the Cricut if you need or want to use any of it.